Hello everybody, this is a Lamley Showcase Matchbox Monday. Look at this unboxing we're gonna be doing. Matchbox five packs. This is what a master case looks like with Matchbox five packs in it, if you haven't seen one before. I'm sure if you've been on a, you know, a pallet at Walmart or something like that, maybe you've seen these before. They don't get pursued vigorously like other cases, like Hot Wheels basic cases and stuff, only because they're just five packs. But I got this sent to me by Mattel. I was good, thought I would feature some five packs, but I decided, you know what, I'll just feature all of them. I'm just gonna open them up. This is gonna be a fairly easy going video. I'm gonna open up all the five packs as we, as we unbox them. And then I have a few cases there in the background because there's a few models that I've chosen to showcase that I'll add to the collection. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. So let's just get to it. This is what the case looks like. Um, some of these, some of these five packs, it's kind of a mix of older and new. And so you'll, you've probably seen some, if not all of these on the store pegs but there's some cool models definitely inside. So let's go ahead, they have this little liner thing. It's a little windy out, so let's make sure these don't totally blow away, but it's only the backyard. I've got them here, I kind of know what's inside, but I can't remember which is which, so we're just gonna go for it. And we will start with the Matchbox Wagons 2. We've had one and two, a little bit of a glare here, so but that doesn't matter. Um, and this is actually one of the models I've chosen to showcase. It's that Mercedes wagon. And as a matter of fact, I am going to put this to the side. I'm going to show you the back of it. There's the artwork. We'll showcase the pack. Well, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're here. We're opening up. That's what we're going to, that's what we're going to do. There's the cars. You have the Alston minivan, Mercedes Benz W123 wagon, 211, 2011. Mini Countryman, the Jeep Grand Wagoneer, and the Volvo V60 Wagon. A lot of these I collect. All right, the wind is going to start blowing these. There's the uh, minivan. I do collect some of these. I only collect the plain ones. So that one will probably... Uh, probably we'll see. This one I'm definitely going to showcase. We're going to put that one off to the side for a minute because we're going to showcase that one. Mini Countryman, we have two minis. I guess they're calling this a wagon. I guess it's, you know, four doors, and I'd call it more of a hatch, but maybe a hatch has to be two doors. I don't know. Uh, nonetheless, there's that one. That one's kind of cool. That's a casting. I might have one or two of, but I don't fully collect. The Jeep Wagoneer, I like this one for sure. Um, I like the wood paneling. I'll probably add it to the collection. I think there's several colors of that one. I could have chosen that one. Um, and this one... The uh, Volvo wagon, I definitely collect. Boy, there's the wind. Sorry, guys, you're going to hear this on the microphone. I apologize. But this one is very, very cool. I could have could have done this one, but I didn't. Uh, there's two or three different colors of this one. I think this might be the fourth or the fifth color of the uh, of the Volvo wagon. I still like the first one in that Polestar blue, I think is what they call it, right? I think that's what they call it. Anyway, that one's a very, very cool casting. Definitely a fan of that one. All right. They do duplicates in here. Um, this one's an older one. This is the Polaris Slingshot Dodge Viper RT10 International Scout 4x4, the Mazda Miata. We've already seen this. This is the, like the original color. Those are some recolors. And then the 1969 Camaro SS396. Um, I'm going to open this one up too because I want to take a look at that Viper. I think the Viper I'll definitely add. I know Matchbox... Boy, sometimes you're, I'm good at opening these, and sometimes I'm not. Or Hot Wheels is bringing back, I think, this Viper, but the Matchbox one is nice. It's a little wide, but this one looks really cool. You've got the black headlights, Viper Deco on top. This one, oh, and on the back, and taillights. Okay, that one I think is really, really cool. I, and what, sometimes the Matchbox, I cannot remember if these have been seen before or not like if they've been released there's the polaris show that to you real quickly international scout some of these i just don't collect so i just don't know i'd have to do a comparison on the mx5 miata with the old one but i don't have it so i'm not gonna but uh this one yeah i think it was the first release of that wheels seem the same i'd have to check that one out and then the Camaro, this one I think has been modified. They have, they did a convertible, convertible and a hard top. And it looks like they've kind of, they were always a little bit different, but it looks like they've made these somewhat similar. So that's a nice, 
that's a nice casting. I like that it's in a very stock looking Camaro Deco. So I'm kind of into that. All right. Warren Industries. So this one is one of those where they take one of their theme decos that uh, I think maybe Michael Geralda created this and they put it on all five of the cars. They've done a national parks like this. They've done an ink, um, which is kind of cool. So this one, I definitely have a car to feature. So let's get to that. Well, I can show you in a poor way of opening it. Warren 75, is that? I mean, is Warren a, oh, I should know this. Maybe it is, I don't know, licensed. Yeah, it is. So they've taken, so it's not made up. You guys are gonna laugh at me, but licensed, so that's cool. And I'm totally destroying it. So before I do, International E Star, you've got the Matchbox 4x4, which looks a lot like a Land Cruiser, Ford Bronco, International Scout again, and then the Jeep Willys. So let's see if I can get this one open. That yeah, one went for it. All right. I'll show you the Jeep 4x4. This is actually, or the Matchbox 4x4. It's not Jeep, but it sure does look like a Land Cruiser, right? It has the same elements. This is a casting that's been around for almost 20 years, I think. That one's nice. But it's not, it's unlicensed. E-Star, that's licensed. The electric van, the EV van. I'm going to pop to the top here and show the Jeep Willys, or Willis. That military Jeep, we've seen that in a bunch of colors. Not one that I collect, um, but I know a lot of people that are big fans of that one. The International Scout, it's nice, but it's when it was released at that time when Matchbox was just so out of proportion and they were doing all those weird angles and stuff. So I've never been a big fan of this cast. I think the only one I have is in the National Parks. Go ahead and put that one down. But the one I wanted to showcase was this. I'm adding it to the collection. It is the Ford Bronco. Show you there from the front, we got the Bronco Deco at, at the front on the grill. That'd be weird if they did it without it. Worn livery on the side celebrating 75 years. Bronco and Matchbox liveries, nothing on the, or Deco's nothing on the back. It's okay. All right, I've got my... Bronco is still fairly new, but I pulled out my, uh, I'll open this up, my cases here. My creative options cases. And you can see I have Ford. You can see where the Dodge moves into the Ford. But here is the Ford Bronco. So this one goes right here. So it started, what, a couple years ago with this red color. Then last year we actually had two versions. We had this blue version that was released as the very same time as the much sought after Chase, Super Chase version, which is really cool. Then my favorite, because I love national parks. I'm so glad they did a national parks release of this Bronco and they look at that they gave it front rear everything just an just a great release that was just at the beginning of this year and now we have this version I love this casting I think the Bronco is super cool and I think Matchbox's version of the Bronco until our until Hot Wheels did their RLC version which I think is nice this one just killed the um, RLC and then Matchbox has come back and done the two-door version right where it has the opening doors so you have both versions and they're both that really cool Bronco boxy look and I just think they're fabulous love that casting we'll collect every single one of them so there's part of the showcase let's keep going not going to open this one up this is the city adventure none of the castings that i would put in there you've got the international e-star again uh, the flatbed king ram flatbed which is nice the uh service truck which is like a mail truck and then the rescue helicopter. We'll just kind of, we'll put that one off to the side. This one is cool too, but I'm not gonna open this one either. Now I know there's a lot of cool things in here. Well, no, I'll open it because you guys want to see it. This is Coffee Cruisers 4. Show you the artwork here. They're doing the Aston Martin. This Aston Martin is a, is a re-release. What do they call them? A carry forward. Um, I'll show you what they are. There's the Ford Coupe Model B. That's right there. Pull this out. Uh, Cadillac Series 62 convertible coupe, but it is the hardtop version. Aston Martin DBR1, which is beautiful. El Camino, the 1970 El Camino old casting, the 47 Chevy AD 3100. 
There's the Ford. That looks nice in its uh, rat rod look. Hot rod look. Hot rod, hot rod, mat rat rod. Um, I like that one. Cadillac is cool. This is only the second hardtop version. We've seen a couple convertibles. I think the first hardtop was in the Cadillac series they released a couple of years ago. I really dig that color. I think that is really nice. Aston Martin, we've already seen that one before. In fact, if you look, I'll even move the camera up just a tad. You can see the Aston Martins are right there and you can see that green version that's already been released. And uh, so that's a carry forward. So that'll go in the donation pile. Nice to see the El Camino re-released. This is an older casting. It's probably been updated a little bit. Yeah, it has, because it has that little rivet piece there in the back. But nice in black. I do like this one. I might have a couple in my collection of the El Camino. This one seems like one I would, this would be a, a version I would add. So maybe I'll put that one just off to the side. I'll clean that up. And then this uh, truck, first I think it was in the truck series or the Chevy truck series. I can't remember. Oh, what does it say? Coffee Cruisers. That's cool. Oh, the deco on that is awesome. All right, I'm glad I'm opened it because I might add this one because I think it's really clean, really good looking. I think it's the same on the other side. Yep. All right, digging that one. Digging that one. Let's keep going. Older pack. We've seen this one before. Uh, carry forward of the Lamborghini. I think a carry forward of the... Uh, I think these are all carry forwards, in fact. Yeah. Uh, Lotus Evora, Jag E-Type, Ford GT, Convertible ZR1. You don't need to spend a lot of time, though. Great pack, but all carry forwards. Uh, so are these, I believe. The Rescue Helicopter... Hailcat, Cherokee Trailhawk, Interceptor Utility, and Volkswagen Beetle all carry forwards. Why am I not opening these? Because these will be donated and they'll go a long way at the hospital. So um, some people might say, oh, they carry forwards. I don't, you know, why would do that? Well, there's a lot of people who haven't gotten them because some of them are fairly old. And the same here. I don't know if this, uh, if this airport version is a carry forward, but again, models that I'm not going to add to my collection. I already have this uh, Lamborghini. Toyota Prius is nice. The uh, Swift Shuttle Petrol Pumper and the Runway Wrangler. That's the Matchbox Airport set. Another great one to donate. So that one goes over there. Let's see, where else are we? I, think, I thought there would be repeats. There was. There's a repeat. So there's only one case that's a repeat. So that one goes in the donation pile as well. All right. And then there's the EV pack. All right. Well, let's just go on as we go. Let's do this construction pack. I am not going to open this one either because I think this one would be really fun for a kid at the hospital. So we're going to donate it. But this one is really nice because these are some of the best Matchbox originals. Matchbox backhoe, there it is right there. The Matchbox turf hauler, the big dump truck, there that is. That one looks really, really nice. Road roller, nice and clean. All of them share the same uh, fantasy deco. Really like the Chevy Silverado 1500. This one obviously is not fantasy. This is not a casting. I, I might have a couple in my collection, but I'm not going to uh, to collect that one. Try, I'm putting it at an angle because if you just see the glare badly. And then the Road Scraper, which is one I like, but I don't know if this one, I kind of stopped collecting this one, but I have a few of those, but I'm not, I'm just gonna, it's just, instead of adding this to my collection of Road Scrapers, which I don't have a ton, this is better off being donated. So that one will get donated. All right. Let's do the EV pack and then we'll do these uh, features. Most of the cars we're featuring comes out. Well, okay, Matchbox Electric Drivers. I think this is the second one. What do we have? Mustang Mach E. That's the second color of that one, I believe. Honda E. Just says Tesla, but it's either the Y or the X, right? International E Star and then Tesla. So another International E Star. I like that they're embracing the EVs. there kind of open that one clean and they're playing that theme right this like this is the recyclable uh piece in the back so some of these so this car this car this looks nice i mean a lot of opinions about the car itself but it's a really nice replica of the mustang ev what is it they call it mustang e what is it i don't remember i'll look at the base mock e yeah yeah, some people say it's not a Mustang. I, I agree with that sentiment, but a cool replica of that car. 
I do like this little Honda. It really plays off the old Civic, which I think is kind of cool, and this one looks good. I might consider adding that one to the collection. I'm not totally pursuing that as a as one to collect. I believe this is a re this is a uh, carry forward, right? Didn't we see this one in this color? I could go look, and this is which one? This is the X. Yeah, I believe we have. The castings are so similar, the X and the Y, that I get them mixed up. There's the, uh, whatever that one's called, E-Star. Good utility car. It's a great casting for Matchbox. They do a lot of those utility city cars. I'll just throw that in the recycling pile right there. And then here is the, I'm assuming the Y. Yeah, Tesla Y, and I think we've seen that color. If not, I'm going to check both of the Teslas because I collect both of these castings, so I'll put those in the collection if they are. All right, last pack of my mess here. I'll clean it all up. Is the Audubon Express. This has been out a while, but I think this is a great pack. Obviously, we're going all German here. And uh, what do we have? Volkswagen Beetle, BMW 2002, Audi TT RS Coupe. Alfa Romeo Giulia and the Mercedes-Benz W123 wagon. So let's get this one open. And then I can finally dig into the collection. You can already see what's here. You can see I've got some, I'm gonna try and show you everything I have from some, a couple of these castings, three of them actually. Sorry, I'm opening off camera. I can. I actually bought this pack and then I got this in the in the mail from Matchbox. So the extra pack I have of this one will obviously go into the donation pile as well. All right, in fact, remind me to save that box so I can put those back in. Here we go, you got the Beetle, really looks nice in this police livery, dig that. Not a casting I collect, but it's a very nice casting. Been updated a little bit, it's a little cleaner. That one's very nice. Um, I'm gonna pull out the Audi TT here. Looks good in black. Was that second or third color of this one? I like the casting, not one I want to collect, but it's nicely done. All right, let's go, let's talk about this Mercedes Benz. So we have this brown version of the Mercedes Benz. Here it is. And then we have from the older pack, the Matchbox wagons. So we've had two released about the same time, brown and orange. And I have, I have it here. So this is my Mazda to Mercedes. There's one side of the Mercedes. And then here is actually Lotus, Mazda. There's that, there's that Miata. Looks the same, right? And then McLaren, which is very small because they've only done a couple of the McLarens. And now this moves into Mercedes. So we've had, it was released what? And this, this is the first version in green. I think this is a great casting. 1980 Mercedes wagon. Just a great, great choice by Matchbox. And they've done a lot of plain versions. Here's this orange version. Looks nice. I really like the green. Here's blue. Probably need to see. I mean, the black version, that's how I think of Mercedes. This one has a little bit of messed up on the wheel. That's okay. Kind of the cream color. They all just get the front tampos on the grill, rear tampos. Really been going with the plain stuff. The black looks nice. Oh, I really like the interior on that one. So how many versions? One, two, three, four, five. And then they released this one just recently, right, in the uh, collector set. This one I love in the service livery. It's my favorite so far. And then we add, and we're not done yet, because then we add, I don't know if we're ordered, but orange, which I think is probably the latest release. So that one goes here. And the brown version cream colored interior, that one goes here. So there would be the whole collection, but take a look at that there, that looks nice. Well, let me shut that because there's also these two right here. I'm gonna actually pop this off and just hope I don't drop it. 1980 Mercedes-Benz W123 wagon. This is the dinner model from the 2019 Matchbox Gathering of Friends in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So this was the dinner model, and I'm just gonna hold it like this. And it is stunning and kind of a racing touring livery that was done with Spectre Flame Blue. This thing is so 
so cool and so detailed. So is there is this version in blue and then there was an alternative. There's only 125 made of this one. And then there was an alternative color in green for the, it's they call it the early registrant variation. So the first 75 people to register for the event will get this special color. I believe the green one was the special color. So everything's the same except obviously the base color moves from Spectre Flame blue to Spectre Flame green, which looks really nice. All right, so you can see that. So those are the harder to find versions of this cast. And so if I can, there we go, click that back in. And you'll see a, a theme here, we've got more. All right, let's go with the BMW here. BMW 2002, love this casting as well. Here it is in this, I really like this because we get the VUM, which means the chrome chassis, which you know wraps around, creates chrome bumpers, which looks so much better than the plastic that they've done before. And I really like the color of this one, the stock version of the BMW 2002. So where are we gonna add it? Where is my BMW collection? I think it's right, yep, right here. So, just show you, there's Bentley, so Bentley and then into BMW, some of the older BMWs that I have in the collection, and then moves into this one. I still need to add the five or the 10 pack, nine pack version of that casting. But here are the 2002. So first version was in that very uh, signature orange plastic bumper, which is fine, but I wish it was the VUM. Then they did the special Target exclusive right here. That one got the VUM. Uh, 50th anniversary of Superfast. That was released, I think, the same year. That one was a cool one. Then we've seen fairly plain for the most part. This blue or, blue version is nice, but the plastic bumpers. We had the collector version with the Hot Wheels Real Riders on it, which is nice, and Matchbox Racing livery, which I think looks cool. Like the wheels on that one. And then plain ever since. So like the wagon, right? we get these very nice stock looking uh, castings from Matchbox. And this is how it should be, I think. Green, black, you get the VUM with the black here, which looks cool. Very happy to see that. They're putting in more VUM, but then you go, there's the red with the plastic bumpers. So we'll put the uh, blue version right there. And there is the family, but we do have one other one that we have to show off. Another dinner model from 2020. Now this was one, I have this one version. There is also an alternative version of this one too, but it's a little different. The Mercedes changed colors. The BMW, if I remember correctly, just had some extra tampos added to it. So not much different. So I don't have that one because I wasn't an early registrant. I just have this one and the other one wasn't different enough for me to pursue it. If it was a different color, I would have. But you can see Hot Wheels five spoke real riders on this one gives it kind of a hot roddy look in a sense, but it does look cool with the racing livery. You get some cool logos there on the back as well. Paul Carr, reference to Paul there, which is really cool. Paul's used to work for Lesney way back in the day, and he's a collector now. Jim Gallegos, bunch of stuff. Abe Lugo, Adlar, that's Michael Geralda. Anyway. Really, really nice model. So that one is part of the collection too, but I keep it obviously in the case here, in that little drawer. All right, one last one. Alpha Romeo, Julia Sprint, not Julia Sprint, take that back. Julia, just the Julia. In brown, tan, metallic, copper, what do you call it? I don't know. I like this casting too a ton. They got a couple different versions of this one. And I brought it here. Okay, so here's the one side. You've, in fact, this is the very beginning of my Matchbox collection. There is the Alfa Romeo Julia Sprint, hence the name. There's some, I think I've talked about this, but I'll go get to that in a second. And then it moves into Aston Martin. You can see those. I think there's a nine pack missing there more current Aston Martins, and then it moves into Audi. There's the Audi wagon, but let's go back. We're talking Alfa Romeo here. So Julia Sprint, this is a cool collection. This is one of my, one of the pride and joys. This is the dinner car from like 2007, I believe, 
from the gathering of friends. They've been doing it a long time. And then they've had all these various colors. And I've told this story before, if you want me to tell it really quick, but Alfa Romeo only did the Julius Sprint in that year in red and white. So when Matchbox was trying to change colors, they, would, they wouldn't let them. So they did a red version, then they did a white recolor. Then they wanted to do a special 10-pack exclusive, and Matt and Alfa Romeo said, uh, no, it has to be red. They got away with this more like candy apple color, but Alfa Romeo said, no, it has to be red or white. So then they said, well, we want to do a green version the next year, and Alfa Romeo said, no. So this is actually a prototype that I was able to acquire um, in green that was never released. Then they said, we'd actually like to do it in pearl white to make it different from the release before, and they said, no. In fact, if you look... There's the license plate there. That was the 2007 version. You got a different license plate here. That's the 2008 version. But a few of the Pearl ones were released, but Alfa Romeo said, no, it's gotta be plain white. So they had to change the version. You can see that license is the same one to plain white. So that is the rare variant. This one is non-existent. Rare variant, there's the plain one. Then they wanted to do it in super fast. They said, no, you gotta do it in white. So they changed the wheels. So it's different than this one. And it does have a different license plate that one says alpha this one says 715 whatever one six then they wanted to say well can we do a version the next year in a different color and they said nope and they said well why don't we do a pearl white they said nope so this is another prototype that was never released with these wheels in the uh in the pearl white color they had to change it to white and they just went back to the standard wheels then they've released it in white again but maybe Alfa Romeo is actually coming around because they let them release just recently in this gray color. Anyway, that's just, that's a tangent because that's not the casting we're featuring. There's more Alfa Romeo. This is the casting we're featuring. So there's the Julia released initially in red. Then there was the special Toy Fair version, which was given out to attendees of the Toy Fair at Mattel. You know, Hot Wheels does theirs too. This was the Matchbox version in 2020 probably released in 2019. Love this version in white. That's my favorite. Surprise, surprise with the black rims. Then we had the collector's version in gray with the two-piece wheels and just recently released last year in blue with the chrome five spokes. We're not done. So we got to add this new bronze color. So that's a nice collection of the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Close that up. This is a special one I was able to acquire. This is the Holiday Employee Vehicles team. This is only given to employees, uh, Alfa Romeo, uh, given in 2019, so right before the pandemic. And I was able to get my hands on one of these. I don't know, I'm not gonna try and open it, but it has the special artwork on it. And then special like kind of a candy apple color with this snow look like the car's been driving through snow which is really cool. So there's that, that's a super rare version. That and the Toy Fair with the Julia, but that one's a cool set. There you go. Look at the mess I have made. We have all of the five packs, got plenty to donate, some cars to go into, more of the donation pile, some to go into the collection. Feeling good about where we're at. You guys tell me what you think, which one's your favorite, what packs would you collect? What do you think about those cars that I've added to the collection? Kind of cool, right? Thanks everybody, bye.